What's up, y'all? It's Vlogmas Day 6. I had a late behind, a late start to my day. Um, I was waiting on the maintenance people to come in and do some things around my apartment. They never showed, so um, it's 3.40. I'm like, I just have to start my day, and if they come, they're just going to have to come while I'm not there. So I just ordered some food. I'm going to sit, park, and eat it, and then I'm going to go do some errands, vlog that, and then I'm going to go to my homegirl's house to edit this video. So, and then I'm going to go to class later tonight. I'm in the school of ministry. I'm in the going on to maturity class. So, I don't have like a busy day per se, but I just feel like I have a lot more on my plate than maybe like I expected to. So, I got my cheesecake brownie, my sub. I haven't tried the fries and this cheese yet, so let's see. It kind of just looks like regular old like cheese dip. I don't typically like cheese dip like this, but let's see. Whatever. I know the video is raunchy, but I'm gonna know your thoughts. I, sexual means. I think my reasoning is I'm not sexually fluid. I want somebody who is 100% into coochie because I'm 100% into dick. Maybe it's something one day I'll get over. I also don't think it's something that you gotta get over. There's nothing wrong with that. No. Sometimes society make us feel like, oh, well, why aren't you open to it? That people have preferences and it's okay. I just Are y'all gonna need a bisexual man? Redeemed through Christ or not? Because I know maybe not everybody who watches this is a Christian. But me, I think if my husband is bisexual or, like, used to live in the lifestyle and then felt called out of it, um, I think the Lord had to, like, give me a supernatural grace. Because if you ask me, I don't want a bisexual man. I had talked to this guy who I thought was a little bit gay. Um, well, I guess I still rock with him, so, and me and my friend made a joke, like, I guess we do, like, you know, men that are a little gay, but, I mean, like, for real, for real, I don't think I want a man who's a little gay. Well, what if a man goes to jail, what he gonna do? Um, well, I feel like if he ain't really gay for real, nothing. Well, I think if you go to jail and you start, like, being with men, it's because you were always, you always had a little sugar in your tank. You always wanted to explore that. I think completely straight men don't go to jail and just all of a sudden be gay. That's just my opinion. Who, how do I know? I ain't. I'm not a man. Anyway, but, yeah. I think it's a no for me. Um, and here's the thing. I actually, I know. Not necessarily personally, but I know a pastor who lived in that lifestyle now is married and I believe has two kids. And to me, you could tell. He for sure was gay. Um, and he even, he's joked about it before, like, about God has started to convict him of being so, like, feminine. You know, like, girl and stuff like that. I had the grace for it, but who knows? Do I think everybody got a little gay in them? Um... I think probably everybody has maybe a gay thought. Like, everybody has thought of something gay. Everybody has wanted to try something gay. But, like, I know for me, even when I was considered bi-curious, I, I wasn't I wasn't that gay for real. Also, one thing that this pastor had talked about is... You know, he t he has told his wife who he's hooked up with. And I've had the discussion with, like, another couple from my church. And I 
I feel like it's not important to tell your significant other who you've hooked up with. Now, I think maybe an exception could be, say, like, they hooked up with somebody who went to the church that y'all all go to. Maybe that might, you know, I think I would want to know that. But, yeah, I don't need to know all the women that you've been with. It's just not necessary to me. Um, I don't think it's necessary to be following, like, all the women that you have had, like, sex with on social media. But if you've hooked up with a girl when you were, like, 19 and when we get married, you're 33, like, and you haven't really interacted with her at all on social media, I, I don't know. I'm not pressed to be like, oh, you have to unfollow her. I think as long as you know that your man is for you, he doesn't flirt with other women, um, he's not overly friendly, he's not flirtatious, like, to, to me, I don't think I care if my man follows somebody that he hooked up with on social media that he doesn't interact with and it's been years. Um, cause I, I follow people on social media that I have like hooked up with and it's been literal years and we don't talk. So I guess it's not a big deal to unfollow them. Like, you know, when people say, Oh, it's not that deep to me, it's not that deep to unfollow them. Like, okay. Like my husband was pressed for me to unfollow him. Like, okay. But it also like, to me is not that serious. So it's not that serious either way. Now, if you know that you're quick to, you know, want to double back on an ex and stuff like that, or something that you've had sex with, then yeah, you need to go ahead and follow them, unfollow them. Like, I don't follow any of my exes on social media, but I follow people that I've dated. And, um, and these are people that I've never doubled back to, dated them once, and that was, that was it. And that's probably why I can follow them now. I probably, just to guard my heart, I don't need to follow, like, my exes. That's just me. Like, just the way that those relationships ended, maybe with the exception of my first ex, but the way that those, I've had three major boyfriends the last two, they just ended so, ugh, that I don't need to be following them on social media. I don't need to keep tabs on what they do with their lives. But first stop completed, my bronzer, y'all. Boom, on to the next. Not me being at a red light and wanting to try this. So this is the Pixie Rich Glow. <sighs> Let me see. It's saying you could just use your... Oh, it's green light. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Hold on. Wait a minute now. Oh, so, this is here. Um, It doesn't feel like a bronzer to me. Let me try one more little pass through. I'm crying. Oh, uh-uh. Uh-uh. I put too much on. Uh-uh. Nope. Oh, you know what? She said that this was like if you're flesh tone, like when you go in the sun. But my skin is already flesh tone, girl. I need a bronzer. I need like an actual bronzer. The lady who recommended recommended this, she said it looks like you're you know just like you know in the summer when you get a little sun kiss, and that's exactly what it looks like. You look, I look sun kissed. So I mean. Yes, it looks like what she said it would look like. Okay. Well, yep, just looks sun kissed. I mean, yeah, really, I look sun kissed, so. I'll probably try it out for the next couple of days. I might want to go in and actually get something darker, like an actual bronze bronze, but on the go, it is moisturizing, it blended with. Y'all, someone complimented me on my bronzer. She said, I love your makeup. Buki, I only have on the bronzer. Hmm. Maybe it just makes me look healthy. She said, it looks like you're ready for the winter time. It looks a little, it looks kind of red on this side though. Maybe it would be muted if I had some concealer on, but anyway. 
return the stuff from Target. It's kind of already getting a little bit dark. So I'm going to run to the UPS because I got this coat from Amazon that just looked crazy on me. So I'm going to return that. My sound machine, because remember I told y'all I couldn't return my hatch machine. So I had bought another sound machine thinking that I was going to get my $70 back. Couldn't get my $70 back. So um, I'm just going to return the coat, the sound machine, and then I'm going to go to my homegirl's house, get this video edited so I can hopefully get it up by like 6 30 and then head to my class tonight so got them let's go y'all probably can't see but that green coat that's what i just returned bookie okay on my way to my friend's house let's go what y'all think about houses like this i don't like houses on the street and I don't like and I don't like that you have to walk up to get into your house. Um, but I do ideally like this like location. Like I guess I like the fact that you're probably around a lot of stuff if you Yeah, these are like just well these are a little different kind of because it feels a, it's giving a little bit more neighborhood vibes, but these are still, you know, off the street. So Oh, that's a cute house okay i used to say that i wanted like a real big house but i'm starting to kind of like more of these smaller modest houses that are still a nice penny because of the location um so yeah what's your house vibes y'all let me know okay. we made it to my friend's house y'all this is tt lines we have so many things for her to do. I finally made the vlog. Finally made the vlog. She gonna put this car seat cover on because she is just the greatest TT, ain't she? No words? Okay. And y'all see, it's 5.40. I do have class at 7, but we gonna record a video. I mean, edit the thing and go on about our business.